Hey everybody, Tech Teacher 1381 here, and today I'm going to show you something that is really great that can help not only you, but it can help your students and parents see and view pages in a different language that can help them. So what this is intended to do is to help your struggling students that may need those language supports, but not only that, but it can help the parents as well as they can read things in their native language and they can read the Google Classroom assignments in their native language so that that way they are informed of what their child is doing as well and they can, they can be a great resource at home. So this is something that is very exciting, and I'm sure that many of you may have already seen this, may know about this, but this just excites me. And so just in case you don't know about this, let me show you what you can do. So I have my Google Classroom uh, page open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings in my Chrome browser. So I'm going to go all the way to the far right, and I'm going to click on the three dots here, the three vertical dots. I will go to settings, and I'm going to go ahead and type in languages or language. Now I'm going to see this option here that says Language, English, United States. I'm going to click the drop down menu or the shark tooth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add languages. So I am going to add Spanish because Spanish is something that is very uh, common here in my area. Notice that you have different types of Spanish. Spanish, Espanol, Argentina, Chile. So just depending on you know where you may be and your demographic. So I am going to pick Spanish, Espanol, Estados Unidos uh, because most of our Spanish here is uh, you know kind of a mix. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. But I'm going to go ahead and add another language here, which we also have a lot of Korean students. So we will go ahead and click on add. So now that I am done with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Google Classroom. I can close this option. And then what I want you to see is that when I do a right click on my mouse, I'll do it here. It says translate to Espanol. And now I can translate my page immediately into Spanish. So this helps your students just immediately go from English to Spanish if they need those language supports, but you're also able to help the parents at home that may be interested in helping their child or just to see what their child is working on. They can see it in their native language. And if you notice here, bienvenido, módulo uno, evaluar los datos de los estudiantes. And at any time, they can toggle back to English by going right here. You'll see this icon here in the URL bar and then they just click on English and they can go back to English, evaluate student data, module two, address math gaps, module three, online virtual manipulatives, and they can go back and forth in Spanish and English, which is useful, guys. Now, if you wanna add another language, you can do so by saying choose another language and notice the amount of languages that can be chosen. This is something that is amazing and wonderful and it's a great tool again to help your student but also to help those parents that right now may be frustrated because they don't understand what may be going on this is something that you can share with them and this is something that i share with our parents here in our community as well so again hopefully this video is something that is useful to you share it you know give us a comment subscribe to our channel give the video a like Thank you guys for watching and don't forget, stay techie my friends.